how to make an Assassin's Creed paper computer game. Now, my friend Zach has actually made a video like this, but unlike him, I'm a hardcore fan of the game, and he, well, he knows nothing about it. Some of the gameplay elements from Assassin's Creed, or just video games in general, can't be in a paper computer game. For example, the parrying system, where you need to press a specific button just as an enemy is about to attack you so you don't take damage, completely doesn't work in a PCG. The challenging part of parrying in Assassin's Creed is pressing the button just in time before the enemy hits you. In a PCG, however, there is no button to press. The player just says what they'll do, and the PCG master will say if it works or not. A PCG is a puzzle game, and something fast-paced like that simply wouldn't work. Instead, I think the puzzle should be how the player tries to parry, rather than parrying itself. But you'll have to fight a lot of enemies in Assassin's Creed, which, let's talk about the weaknesses of PCGs. Unlike video games, PCGs cannot be replayed. Sure, with video games, when you replay a video game, it'll be a bit easier for you than the first time you play it. But it'll be still challenging no matter how many times you play it. But with a PCG, if you remember exactly how you beat it, you can just say the same things you did the first time and you'll beat it again. Kinda like how you can't replay a puzzle game. Now, if you have to fight enemies a lot, what you have to say in order to kill them needs to be different every time, or else the player will know the puzzle. Not to mention, the fights will get very stale. If we're gonna make the PCG, you shouldn't be able to roam around in any location going on killing sprees. The combat will also be different with varying situations, so the puzzles can be more interesting. You also shouldn't be able to control your character while traveling through locations. The player would say, I'll travel there, and the player should automatically just be there. Maybe the PCG master will be like, while you're traveling there, two ninjas with knives ambush you. What do you do? But it should be scripted. The PCG could also play like a traditional one, where it's just one linear story and you don't need to travel to different locations in order to progress. Okay, now that we know how gameplay works, let's talk about story. If we include Assassin's Creed characters, then it shouldn't take place inside the PCG universe. Having them meet PCG characters like Zuvac just doesn't seem right. It's also because if PCGs ever become worldwide, and someone like Altair is a big part of the lore, then we'll probably get sued. The best idea is just to make it take place in the Assassin's Creed universe. Maybe it can be a sequel to an existing AC game. Having modern day in the PCG could work, but the PCG needs to be longer, around 30 screens or so, or else the PCG wouldn't be as focused on the assassin aspect as much. And wait, there's one more thing. Save game won't exist. Okay, now let me explain. In PCGs, you can just say save game to go back. For example, if the player died, then you can just say save game to go back to before you died. In Assassin's Creed, if something happens in the Animus that didn't happen to the Ancestor, such as dying, the Animus will desynchronize, rendering save game completely useless. Though in PCGs, you can still go back even if you didn't die. Maybe you lost an item you needed for a puzzle. The player losing that item will lead to desynchronization, so the player wouldn't need to save game unless for unnecessary purposes. Now, I'm going to do my best to make an Assassin's Creed PCG. For this game, I'm going to make it a traditional one and attempt to capture what makes Assassin's Creed awesome in a paper computer game. Okay, it's been two days. Well, for you, it's been like two seconds. And I'm finally done the PCG. Now, this is only a one-page PCG, and is only made as an example, but I think it's pretty good. Your objective is to assassinate a Templar that's on top of the building on the left. You'll desynchronize if you get spotted, and you can't get there from the bottom, or else you'll desynchronize. I purposely didn't make a second screen where you get to kill the target, and the game ends once you get to the platform over there. And so you guys can make a sequel to this game. By the way, there's a haystack at the bottom, possibility for a chase sequence, maybe. Now, any of you can make a sequel to this, and that's what the community is all about. If you want to join the Paper Computer Game Discord server and participate in PCG events, you can find that link in the description. And PCG, yeah, later.